Okay, we're recording. All right, awesome. Good morning, guys. So this morning we are talking about the um, Riviera Maya Success Club trip. So a lot of you have seen um, that I was on the Success Club trip last week in uh, Dominican Republic in Punta Cana. So that uh, trip was earned from last year's work. So um, success club trips have changed a lot since I've been a coach. So just to kind of give you a background of how it works, uh, how it worked back then, how it works now, and how it's going to work in the future so you have a better understanding of it. Uh, so when I first became a coach, um, the success club trip worked in a way that if you hit success club five for every single month, 12 months out of the year, then you earned the success club trip. You didn't have to sign up. You didn't have to register. If you hit success club five for all 12 months, in the calendar in that calendar year then you earn the success club trip for the following year so um the my first year that i'd become a coach um i earned the trip i, I can remember sitting at super saturday and uh they announced the trip because every january and super saturday they announced the following year success club trip and the success club trip was um disney world and you could, and it was for, you know, family of up to four people. And if you earn success club trip every month out of the calendar year in 2012, I think it was, um, then in 2013, you were, um, going to be going to Disney world and you're going to get all expenses paid trip for the, um, uh, the hotel, uh, to any of the parks that you wanted. You got vouchers for food and all this stuff. And at the time my kids were, um, five, I think they were going to be six, um, at the time that we would go to Disney. So it was the perfect age for them to go to Disney. And I can remember prior to being a coach, um, thinking that I, I was at that time around, I don't know, 29 or 30 years old and had never been to Walt Disney world ever, like ever. And I, and I love Walt Disney and I, and I know how expensive it is to go to Disney. And I kept thinking to myself, like, I would love to, you know, take my kids to a Disney world trip. Um, but it's hella expensive and how are we going to afford it? And, um, you know, it was almost like, um, like a pipe dream almost like something like I, I, I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to do that for my kids. So I can remember sitting at Super Saturday that January morning in 2012 and them announcing the uh, success club trip. And I was like, oh my gosh, if I could win this trip for my family, I, that would be amazing. Because for one, I wouldn't have to pay for it. <laughs> it would just be paid for me. And two, um, I'd be able to fulfill a, a family dream that I've been wanting to fulfill for over, I don't know how many years, you know, here I am at 30 and have never been to Disney myself and want to find myself wanting to take my family on, on a trip of a lifetime. So it was right then in that moment that I wrote down that I was going to earn that trip um, for my family. And lo and behold, I earned success club every single month in uh, 2012 and then some, and, um, and I earned that trip and we took that trip and it was, a, it was a trip of a lifetime. I, I couldn't right then and there was when like my, um, dream and possibility of what could be done in this business opened up. So every year after that, I made it a point to earn the success. A success club trip and it changed um, that following year so that following year the success club trip was a, um, a cruise to uh, the um, Cayman Islands and uh, Cozumel Mexico and I would never been on a cruise before in my entire life so I was like oh my gosh I want to go on this cruise and uh, and the last time Tony and I had been on a trip together um, was uh, our honeymoon in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, like, I don't know, three or four years prior to that. And I was like, okay, so this year, um, it's going to just going to be a trip for Tony and I, uh, and I'm going to earn this trip and we're going to go on this cruise for the very first time. And, but this, but that year, um, the network had started to grow. So, um, they had to, um, change a few things to get more skin in the game for people and to kind of keep the numbers down to a point because I mean you can only carry so many people on a cruise ship right so so what they did was you had to buy in to the success club trip um, and it was $200 registration so at the very minimum you paid $200 to go on this trip if you earned 
Success Club every single month in 2012. So if you earn Success Club um, every single month in 2013, um, then you earn this trip and the most you put into it was $200. And I was like, hey, I can pay $200 for a cruise for, for me and my husband to, to go on and, and enjoy. Um, just for putting in work that I was already going to be putting in. Uh, and, and so I did that and, and I earned the trip and it, it was, it was amazing. I mean, and I started to, um, build these friendships and I started to grow this love for Beachbody and, um, all these amazing trips that, that they were taking us on, um, that we had never really been on. I mean, we, we weren't vacationing every year to, you know, Disney world or, or, um, on a cruise to the Cayman islands or Cancun or Punta Cana. Um, but because of Beachbody and because of the work that I was already putting in, they were rewarding us for those, for those things. And, um, and so it just became something that, became just a part of my, my team culture of going on these trips because I mean, let's be honest, you guys, it's a lot of fun to vacation with your friends, especially people that are just like you and believe the same things that you do. Um, it's, it's really amazing. So, um, so every year I make it, um, a point to register for those success club trips. And the only time you can register for those success club trips is, in January of each calendar year when they announce the trip and there's a window of, of being able to register for those trips. Okay. Because everybody that registers for these trips is just like me and has, it has had an experience just like me. So they want to be a part of these trips. They want to be a part of this community and they want to be a part of this culture. So it's like a fish feeding frenzy when they open up these links. Okay. Because it's a very short window. So when you, when they send out the link to register, like registration fills up in minutes, you guys. So, um, so now here we are in about, um, halfway, really almost halfway through 2017, if you can believe it. I mean, we're in May right now and, um, being able to register for, um, Riviera Maya in 2018 is, is not a possibility. Okay, okay. The registration is closed. It's filled. Coaches have already, um, you know, signed up for that and are already on their way to earning it. I actually last month just earned the trip. So all the successful points that I've earned so far in 2017 have already paid for that trip. So if I wanted to, I could just coast for the rest of the year and take a free trip to Riviera Maya if I wanted to, but of course I'm not going to do that. Um, but, um, but just to kind of give you an idea of how, how this kind of works, but, but what the company has done, which I think is incredibly amazing because it gives coaches who might not have completely understood the whole idea behind registering for a success club trip and how, um, really important it can be to your business and the meaning behind your business, you know, because the reason, I mean, think about the reasons why you guys became a coach. I mean, obviously, yes, we want to help people. Obviously this is something that we're passionate about and something that we believe in. Um, but it also gives us an opportunity to answer the call on all of those goals and dreams that we have in our life to, um, support. I'm on a phone call guys. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you're not going on the next successful trip. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, as I'm, as I'm saying, think about our dreams that we want to give our, our two little brats that are fighting. You know what I mean? <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, think about the goals and the dreams that you, that we want to give our family. You know what I mean? That this, that this business is opportuning us to. Okay. It's, it's, it's allowing us to grow our financial income. It's, it's allowing us freedom without being tied to, you know, a desk job. It's allowing stay at home moms to provide, um, income to a family that they otherwise probably couldn't because they would have to be outside the home. Um, it's providing experiences. I mean, honestly, above income, above income for me is experience, experience that we get to, um, be a part of in life. Okay. Don't like money will buy you things. I don't want things. I want experiences. And these trips give me those experiences. Going to summit gives me an experience that I would never otherwise have in my life. Being able to be friends with some of the most amazing people that I've ever met in my entire life. 
on this team is an experience that I could never have if I didn't have this opportunity. You know what I mean? So, so buying in to these um, success club trip ideas is, is a pretty big deal. Um, and the company has done something really amazing. Um, and they've opened up um, an opportunity for coaches who um, might not have been, might not have registered for the trip in January and, and even new coaches who became coaches after January, okay, that are really wanting to be a part of this culture and be a part of this opportunity and be a part of this experience. Um, so I'm just going to kind of outline a little bit um, how coaches are going to be able to, to do this, okay? And um, it's going to be, I mean, I'm not going to lie, you guys, um, it's going to be a competition because everything that I just outlined for you, everything that I just explained, every single coach wants that. Okay. Every single coach wants to be a part of this. Every single coach wants to earn this free trip. Okay. So, um, so here's the deal. I'm just going to read, I mean, a lot of you probably already read the outline, but I'm going to read it again so that everybody can, um, just so we can be up to speed on it right here and now. So um, these are for up and coming coaches. So this is only available for coaches who are diamond level, lifetime diamond, lifetime diamond level coaches and below. So diamond coaches, Ruby coaches, Emerald coaches, and just coaches. Okay, those are the four types of coaches that are eligible to um, earn this. Now, if you become a one star or above diamond coach within this time frame from now until December, you will not be able to earn this trip. So, and I know that there's a lot of coaches who are sh wanting to earn this trip, but are also wanting to grow their business to a star diamond level. And some of them are very close. So for those coaches, I would say hustle your ass off as much as you can now so you can earn the trip now and then earn star diamond coach later. Okay. That's my, that's, that's just my, um, I guess advice because, um, it, so the way that it works in from now, from May until December, every single month, um, they're going to award the top three coaches. I believe in success club points. So the top three coaches with success club points are going to um, earn this trip. Three, they're gonna pick three people, okay, each month. Three people each month. So, um, okay, so May 1st was the first day of the up and comer success club trip promotion, all right? So how you win, during any month of the promotion, you have to be a lifetime rank of diamond coach or below as of the last bonus week of the previous month. Okay, so for May, it would be May 25th, because May 25th is the last, is the last, um, what is it, promotion week, bonus week, okay, so the 25th is the last Thursday of the month, so that's, that's what it is, last Thursday of the month, okay, that's when, that's when our month ends, okay, um, because we go Thursday to Thursday. So, um, so you have to be one of the top three promotion point earners for the month and qualify for success club during that month. Okay. So number one, you have to obviously qualify for success club that month. You have to be the top promotion point earner between May 1st through December 31st. Okay. Each month and qualify for success club during at least one of those months during the promotion. So, um, obviously your prize is a one free, a, a free tier one room for the 2008 Success Club trip in Riviera Maya. Um, okay, so the FAQ on this, if you want to read more about it, um, just type in 4227 um, into the FAQ in the online office and you can read about that. Um, I, can, I can just skip the link too and post it in the comment section. But um, there we go. There's the link to the FAQ if anybody wants to save that. Um, so now I want to make sure I, I, I've read this over and over and over again, and I want to make sure that I'm understanding it correctly. So um, I don't know, Heather, if you I know that you've read it. Um, is I mean, I'm going to reiterate this. So they're choosing three promotion point earners for the month for each month. So you, so obviously you have to qualify for success club during that month and you have to be one of the three top success club point earners. So I'm guessing 
they're going off the success club points because they say they're saying promotion point, which I'm guessing is equated to success club point. Heather, if you're listening, does that? Yes, yes. Okay, she says yes. Okay, so, so yes, so obviously hitting success club, and you have to be the top success club earner of at least three in May. In June, in July, okay, so one of those months, at least one of those months. Um, it's a lot of success club points. <laughs> it is, um, and I, I wish I had a benchmark to, um, to give you guys. But I mean, we're talking like a lot of success club points, okay? I mean, we're talking like I would, I would say, if you want to secure a spot or even give yourself a chance. I would say 50 plus, honestly. I honestly, I would, because there's a lot of coaches that are going to be hustling hard for this. Um, and I know I, I, and I hate, okay. So she said 60. So uh, Heather said 60. So we're in the, um, she's going, I would shoot for a <laughs> hundred. Uh, um, and I, and that number is going to scare a lot of you. It's gonna, you know, probably land a, a big, like, Oh shit in the pit of your stomach. Um, because that's a, that's a big number, it, but believe that you can do it. Um, I mean, I personally never hit a hundred successful points in my entire coaching career. Uh, the most, uh, successful points I've ever, um, earned was 70. And that was in February of 2014, I believe with the release of the 21 day fix. So far, the 21 day fix has been the biggest launch in Beachbody history. And, um, and, and it's, it, it's the biggest month I've ever had in my, in my coaching career, at least in terms of, um, success club points. And, uh, so that was 70 points. And I think back to what I did back in that time period. And I re and all I remember is that, um, 21 day fix was nothing that Beachbody had ever done before. Um, it was, they never had that kind of structure in, in nutrition. So everybody was like going bananas over these little colored portion control containers. Um, and uh, they were blown away that all of the workouts were, you know, 30 minutes or less and that you could get amazing results in only 21 days. Okay. So there was a lot going in that, but I, what I remember is that I was so excited myself for it and I just shared my passion and my excitement for this particular program like 10 X up until the point that it was released. Okay. The, the program released in February of, um, Heather had to get off. She had to go mom it up. Her girls just woke up. Um, uh, the, the promotion was released, I think on February 3rd, I think it was a Monday. And, uh, we knew that obviously the program was going to be released, um, like a month or so prior. So up until February 3rd for the whole month of January, it was prime time too, because it was, New Year's resolution season. But up until that whole month and a half prior to the 21 day fix releasing, I talked about it every single day. I invited mass amounts of people to, to be in my very first 21 day fix challenge group. Okay. I talked up the program. I, I talked about it with excitement. I didn't even know anything about the program. All I knew was that it was going to be exciting. It was nothing that Beachbody had ever had before. Um, and it was only going to be $140 for the challenge pack. And, and I was like, dude, you got to jump on this because it's, uh, Shakeology is $130 alone. I go, you're going to get to try Shakeology for 30 days and you're going to get this amazing program with these awesome little portion control nutrition containers for just 10 more dollars. Like you've got to be a part of this. Like then that's all I knew. I just led with heart and I led with passion and I led with excitement and that passion and that excitement and, and, and that kind of, um, hi Susan. um, so, so just leading with that got everybody excited and hyped about it. In addition to me always talking about it on my newsfeed. All right. Um, so what you can do from now until the end of the year, hell from now until summit from now until August, you can do the same thing because we have another amazing opportunity. We have, we have we actually, we have quite a few. Um, we have 
the all access beach body on demand on sale till August for $160. Honestly, that's comparable to the $140 21 day fixed challenge pack back in 2014. Honestly, I think it's even better because you're getting an entire year of access to all the Beachbody programs. They're including those awesome 21 day fixed portion control containers. Um, you're getting access to all the new programs that are going to be released in 2017. Okay. You're getting access to um, UV2. Josh, I totally expect to see a video of you doing that. Um, <laughs> Um, so you get access to UV2. You get access to Shift Shop, which I think is going to be a freaking, I think it's going to be amazing. Chris brings a very different dynamic than any other Beachbody program. I mean, I think he's a little, he's, he's very comparable to Sean T, but I think that I think that he's going to bring something even more. I think the whole program, I think the whole idea of the mind shift is going to be something that is going to be really awesome. And, um, and us coaches have an opportunity to talk this up from now until release in July. Um, start now, start now. Like we need to start right now promoting that. Um, I started promoting it a month ago. You guys need to start promoting it now. Like start talking it up, do whatever you can to, to start promoting it. Um, and start invite, start building that challenge group now. I mean, heck, you might get, you're going to get some people that are going to join right now, but invite for, for that release. Start inviting for that release now and do it in a 10 X style. Um, I had an opportunity, um, and it kind of came out of nowhere, uh, because I got home from the trip from Punta Cana. I was trying to, you know, get myself organized and unpack and get back into my business after, you know, being checked out while on vacation. And, um, and I was, I, I was asked to fill out an application to, um, be a part of a test group, a coach, another test group, but not a, a fitness test group. It was um, a business test group that Carl Deichler was, um, that is hosting. And it's called, I'm here to help. And basically he created this group, this test group, um, that is that, that these coaches, um, that are, are going to be committed to an all out sprint to reach and help as many people as they can get started as possible through July 13th, which is the opening day at summit. So he's calling it like the sprint to summit. Um, so the group is, um, is about just un unstoppable enthusiasm, superhuman stamina, powerful heart, and a relentless reflex of positivity to keep going even when things don't go your way. Okay, they're focused on the vital behaviors, the vital process, the leadership ladder. Um, these are coaches who are thriving in, um, in these areas who want to be surrounded by the same people. Okay? So I had to um, really, uh, you know, put an application in for this. And, 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 the, and I was one of the coaches that was chosen, chosen to be a part of this. So I'm in a group with Carl and um, other top coaches who were also selected. And every day, I mean, we're just kind of in an all out sprint. That's where the donut concept came from. Carl um, came in on, came in live in the group and, and talked about this, this donut um, concept of, of getting those, you know, invites out right away. Um, and every day we're checking in, um, you know, there's 67 days for till summit. Okay. Um, so he's kind of doing a countdown and every day, um, we're just kind of going all out. Okay. Uh, I realized that, uh, going all out is not for everybody. You know what I mean? All I can do is put, put it out there into the universe and those coaches that decide to, to go for it, are, are the ones that, that will run with it. You know what I mean? Um, so it's really up to you. I mean, we know that we are the only person that can hold ourselves back. Right. So, um, you know, with an all out sprint like this, it, it, it comes with sacrifice. It comes with, um, you know, early mornings and late nights. It comes with, you know, sacrificing family time. It comes with sacrificing a a lot of other things, but at the end of the day, you ask yourself, you know, um, if I can sprint really hard from now until summit, that work that I put in, if that could pay me back dividends in this business, would it be worth it? And, and 
for me, every time I've done like an all out sprint like this, it's always been worth it because it's always been a stepping stone in my business that kind of was a catalyst that threw me into the next step of my business. You know what I mean? It's kind of like working in seasons, you know, and trust me, you are, you are listening to the one person who beats the drum so hard on balance and, and, and structure, structuring your day and being really good with time management and not hustling so hard that you're sacrificing the real reason why you're doing this business, which is family. Because trust me, I, I know a lot of coaches that have hustled so hard just to sacrifice exactly what it was that they were working for, but because they did it in a wrong way. You know, maybe they hustled too hard for too long and, and lost their vision. But, um, but I can tell you that for me, Hustling in short periods of time and then grabbing hold, grabbing hold of that balance within. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard concept to grasp. Trust me, I've spent the past six years perfecting it myself. But I can tell you in those periods of heart and hustle that I've worked my business in a situation just like this, it has paid me back dividends in this business for me and for my family. All right. So honestly, um, some of you are going to run with this and some of you are going to say, you know what, I am not ready to put that kind of sacrifice in and I'm going to be okay with just kind of um, doing, doing the minimum. Um, so it's going to be up to you. I am, I, I am here to help any of you do whatever it is that you need to do uh, to, to, to earn this. Um, right now I am probably inviting up to 60 people a day, uh, to, to, to do this. <laughs> um, I, I mean, when I, when you're, when you're challenged by the CEO of Beachbody, um, to sprint to summit, uh, you do it. And so that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm doing everything that I can, um, you know, sending out really quick invites. Um, it doesn't have to be elaborate stuff. I'm putting away a, aside a lot of um, fear, um, fear of people thinking that I'm just trying to sell them something, fear of people thinking that um, I'm just trying to um, sling my products. Uh, so um, fear that I'm not building relationship um, because, you know, I'm still building relationship, but I'm just going for the direct invite right now. Um, and then building the relationship along the way, you know, those, those that are going to bite and feel my passion and feel my heart behind it will jump on. And those that don't won't. Uh, so right now it's, it, it's really like a numbers game. So the law of averages comes into play here. So the more you reach out, the more, you know, people that are going to say yes. Um, and really honestly, at this point, it's just grabbing onto the concept of going for no are going for um, no response at all. <laughs> and I don't care right now. I don't care if, if, you know, I probably sent out since, since Wednesday, you know, over, you know, I don't know, hundreds of invites and probably the majority of them either didn't respond. I haven't gotten any no's. Um, the ones that have responded are like, yeah, tell me more, you know? Um, and the other ones just don't respond. So um, here's, here's my thing. If you lead with heart, lead with passion in openly in your social media news feeds, then um, those quick direct invites um, will be a reflection of that. Okay. Um, because if you're worried about um, sending a direct invite without building a relationship first, then that's a personal uh, development thing and you have to get over it. I know that personally because I feel, feel, feel that a lot of the times when I'm sending out those 60 messages a day, I'm just like, oh, God, this feels so disconnected. But once I connect with somebody who responds in one of those messages, that's when my heart comes out. And that's when they know that I mean, that I mean it. And I do because I'm, I'm grateful that they, um, you know, answered back because, because I know that this this opportunity could change their life. This is not just about me changing, continuing to change my life and grow my business. I know how much joining one of my challenge groups and being a part of Beachbody can change their life. So when somebody answers back from a direct invite like that, my whole heart comes out. It comes out. 
So to those people that reply back from a direct invite like that are blessed because they're, they're not going to get a salesy list. I mean, the invite might've seemed a little direct, but when they answer back, they're going to get my whole heart and they're going to get my whole passion. And that's what you can lead with. So, um, so I guess moving forward, um, lead with heart, lead with passion. We have two amazing things that um, you guys can take with that, the All Access On Demand Challenge Pack. And let me just throw that out there for those either listening right now or those that are gonna be listening to the recording. Um, even though the Challenge Pack is gonna be extended for $160 till August, I would not promote that. I would not let people know that it's gonna be available till August. I just wouldn't. Um, I would take it month by month. Like treat May just like you treated April. Because we thought that the, that the promotion was gonna be gone in April, on April 30th. And we were pushing hard, like you've gotta take advantage of this. It's gonna go away, the price is gonna go up. Do that for May. Let them know, it's gonna go away. You know, it's, I don't know how long this promotion is gonna last. Usually our promotions only are monthly. So you need to jump on this. You need to create urgency, you guys, because you need, people want to change and if they're not pushed to change, then, they, then they'll wait. They'll drag their feet. And we don't want people to drag their feet, okay? Um, and do that for June. Do that for July. <laughs> do that for August, all right? So even though we know as coaches that this um, deal is going to be extended through August, I wouldn't, I wouldn't promote that. I wouldn't even promote it in a private message. I would just say it's going to end at the end of the month. So jump on it now. Start now. They already want to change. Why not start now? Why start later? You know what I mean? So, um, so we have that opportunity. We have the shift shop. Um, start making your list. Just invite, 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 invite. Um, if you guys need help with short scripts, um, uh, we, can, we can do that. Um, we'll just use the team page. Okay, we'll just use the team page. I'll share whatever information I'm getting um, in the Carl group, which really is just encouragement and motivation and accountability. That's it, nothing special. Um, and all these, all the coaches are just coming together and, and pushing as hard as they can um, in a sprint to summit to help as many people as they can lead with heart, lead with um, um, what we believe in Beachbody and spread um, awareness to get as many people set up as possible and lead them through our online challenge groups so that we can help them change their life, okay? So um, that's it. If you guys have any questions about um, this promotion, uh, if you want to set some big, hairy, audacious goals that scare the crap out of you, uh, then I encourage you to sit down and do those, break them out by month, and post them in the team page and hashtag it, you know, sprint to summit, you know, I'm doing this, you know, SE trip 2018 and, and commit. So, um, I'll, um, if you guys want to reach out to me personally and, and give me your honest opinion of what it is, I want to know who's in this, honestly. I want to know who's going to be going for it uh, so that way I can keep up with you guys. So um, think about your goals. Think about um, what scares you. <laughs> think about your fears and think about what you're excited about this opportunity and reach out to me. Um, send me a personal message and let me know just so that I know who's in this so I know who to support and who to bring you know, alongside me. Um, so it's up to you guys. Um, do you guys have any questions at all? Anything at all? Josh, do you have anything? No. Lisa? No. I can't see Jeannie or Susan. I'll unmute you for a second. You for a second. Do, you, do you guys have do any questions? Do you guys have any questions, Jeannie or Susan? No, I'm good right now. Okay, that was Susan. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. I'm at a soccer game. <laughs> sorry. That is commitment. I, I definitely commend you for that. Um, Jeannie, any questions? No, not right now. Okay. All right, guys. Um, this will be recorded. And no reason for you guys to re-listen. Um, this is so uh, a lot of people couldn't be on, so I thought I would record it for them. Um, so you guys that listen to the recording, same goes for you. I want to hear from you. If I don't, then I'll just continue supporting you the way I've always been supporting you. So um, we'll see you guys later. Have a good Saturday. See ya.